Hey guys, welcome to Like Haven Side. Like Haven Side, we're going to show you tutorials, tips and tricks, and other useful stuff about audio and lightning. In this episode, I'm going to show you a tutorial about Granime 2. A lot of you guys out there ask me if it's possible to trigger a command line syntax uh, or to uh, start a macro if you pull down a fader or an executor to zero. And yes, it is possible. Let me show you a quick example of what we really can do. And the cool thing is we don't need any fancy stuff. We don't need macros. We don't need Lua. So it's just with the built-in Granime 2 command line. It's very simple to do this. So let's check it out. When I pull it up, macro 2 is called. And when I pull it down, macro 1 is called. That's nice. So we can figure out the position, the fader position, um, and we can go even deeper. So if we got the fader position, one more time, without Lua, without any fancy macro stuff, I will show you later. Um, if we got the fader position, we can do stuff like this. So maybe we can call some colors just by pulling up and down the fader. Or we can do whatever we want. So um, maybe you want some effect grouping. Just put an effect on. Now the grouping is zero. Here the grouping is one. Grouping two, grouping three. Grouping four. Grouping five. Grouping back to two. Grouping one. Grouping zero. So, how can we do this, that we can uh, get the fader position? Let's go to the setup, first of all. Go to the patch, and we need a new fixture type. We are building a new fixture type, we call it fader2. Just that we can uh, get the two information of up and down. First of all, we add a dimmer. Now we add two dummy channels. Dummy1 and our dummy 2. So we uh, have here a virtual dimmer, so no dimmix uh, address is applied. And to this two dummy fixtures we apply um, address 1 and 2. Now we go into the profile. And now I've created two profiles. One which is called off and another one which is called on. I will show you now what the profile is doing and this is the actually trick what we need. Profile 1 I think in table mode it will be more clear. It's only going if the dimmer value is zero, then it should send 255, so the highest output. And if the dimmer value is higher than one, it should send a zero. And at the executor run, we do the same, but invert it. So zero is zero, and if it's uh, one or higher, then it should send 255 out. So um, let me show you the, the graph. Zero is high up there. And here everything, but without zero is high. Just set react to dimmer as linear, that our dummy channels are reacting to this dimmer over there. You set uh, the default values of the dummy to 100. Because what's happening now, if you pull down the fader, the dimmer value of this uh, fixture to zero, then the dummy channels are going also back to zero because of the react to dimmer attribute over there. And when I pull up the fader of the dimmer, then they are going linearly um, up with this value. Now we create a new uh, layer, it's called fader just grab the fixture profile. Then we set the patch break to 99.81 for this example here. Perfect. Now I hit the fixture 41. I just save it with a value of 100% in the demo value to an empty executor. So now let's check it out. Have a look here over uh, this DMX uh, addresses. 
what's going out it's sending zero value channel 81 is now sending 100 and when I pull up the fader channel 82 is sending 100 now we go to DMX in put just create the remote over there it was channel 99.81 and 82 say command and now I can hit here any macro command I want in this case I've used the macro 1 and 2 so I use macro 1 over there and macro 2 for this one you can see what's going on macro 2 macro 1 let's jump in macro 1 as you can see it's just a labeling uh, preset command and a label sequence in Q command. Thank you for watching this video tutorial. We are going to provide you with a lot of more videos and stuff like this on the channel in the next few days.